everybody! I got a new headset for my 13th birthday, and 13th birthday means I am now legal to be on YouTube. And to celebrate that, I will make a, uh, well, I'm making it right now. I made that mistake the first time I made this video. But I am going to show you how to make a basic blood effect in Wax 2.0, the free video editing software. If you do not know how to get Wax, you can follow this annotation, which is going to appear right on the top bar right here, uh, the Format Factory bar. All right. Now, if you don't know how to get Format Factory, just Google it, download it. You need it for Wax. I never told you to do that in the first video. I apologize for that. To make the blood effect, which will be a gunshot effect, as we will be simulating in this video, head over to detonationfilms.com. First thing I want to mention is that you do not, I repeat, you do not want to use their blood effects. Those are complete crap and will get you looking like every other person who tries to do blood effects on YouTube. These, just, just skip these. Unless you're going to pay for them, don't go for those because the free ones are completely crappy. And they're just, if you've seen a uh, effect reel from a noob on YouTube, they almost certainly have a wax, uh, not wax, detonation films blood effect, so don't use those. What you're going to want to do is download a bullet hit. You can take any of these, you take your pick, not the grand one obviously, so any of these, meaning either of these, because there are only two. I'm using this bullet wall quarter right here. You are going to want to download that. And then you are going to want to, in Format Factory, convert it to WMV. That's right, WMV, uh, right here. Because you do not need to convert it to ATI, AVI just yet. Then you are going to open up, I'm just going to use a Windows Live Movie Maker. If you have a, um, what's it called, a, uh, Another editing software you use, where you can change the color of your background, not the background, the picture, like as a, you know, new special effect, then you can use that too. I'm using Windows Live Movie Maker because that gives me the best effect that I'm going to go for. You're going to want to add the um, side hit after it's converted to WMV. Oh, sorry, I forgot. Something people have been asking me. After you convert something in Format Factory, where does it go? Because it's still the same format when you go back and look at it. Well, that's where it actually goes to this output folder right here, where you can see I've converted some files here. And just take that, drag it over to your videos, and then you have that. And I don't need Format Factory anymore, so I'm going to empty it. So what you're going to want to do is, well, what I did in Windows Live Movie Maker, you can use your own. Um, you'll get a better effect if you don't use Windows Live Movie Maker, if you can find some other software that has a better color changing thing, but you're going to want to add your, um, wall hit after it's converted to AVI. I don't need to show you that because I don't want to suck any more resources from my poor computer. And you're going to drag whichever one looks the most red onto your clip. Then you're going to want to save it, uh, save movie and then there's going to be like a 1080p thing. You want to well you might want to do 1080p because that'll preserve all the quality you're getting out of it. You don't need anything else in Windows Live Movie Maker. Then you're going to right. That's why I left uh, Format Factory open. Then you're going to convert that to AVI. And remember go into the output folder and drag it back in so you don't lose it. So after you have that you should have a reddish looking puff of smoke. Um with a white background and that will be in AVI form so now I'm going to just drag all my files into here the gunshot and me getting shot file and we are going to proceed with the effect I shall return alright I'm back I have both my files imported into wax and now here's a clip of me getting shot or pretending to get shot and it, just so you know I'm not a wrestling fan this this shirt was given to me by a friend so now you're going to want to pause it about where you get shot, clip over the frame. You might want to drag that down. And then you're going to go back. Oops, dragged the wrong thing. Huh. I knew that. Now you're going to see this. 
Make sure you cut that down so it doesn't, when the bullet hit starts coming out, that's when you want the uh, effect to start taking place, if you know what I mean. So now we're just going to, I'll be right back, I gotta render all these frames that I just cut out. Alright, it is all rendered. Now we can see, boom, that's what it's kind of looking like now. And we are going to want to pause and move in about here, right when the blood starts coming out. I know this doesn't look really red, but that's the best I could do with Windows Live Movie Maker. You can do it however you desire. I'm going to come in here, and you will too, and chroma key the white out of that thing. Make sure there's nothing left in there. You're going to want to make sure there's quite a bit of it missing, and drop the tolerance immensely. Not too, too much, but enough so it doesn't look like there's a bunch of white out coming out of you instead of blood. So that's what you've got now. You can drop the tolerance or add some if you don't like the way that looks. Um, I I'm fine with that personally. Now I'm going to, and you will too, drag a quick 3D on this to move it. Uh, you want to make sure you have the shot lined up with your body. And move this thing over. First I'm going to make it a little bigger because it looks kind of small to me. No, I'm not saying anything about that. Okay, move this over. You might have a little hard time getting it precise. That, that looks fine for me. And then move it up a little. As you can see, it's right here, in case you can't see, which means you can't actually see. Now, if you get a black bar like I did, that's probably just because I said to, um... Oh, uh, what's it called? That's why I rendered it in 1080p. Just dra crop the left out of that. Crop all that left. And now I'm going to... Uh, I think that looks pretty good. Close all that up. Go back to the start. It freezes for some reason because it hasn't rendered those frames yet. I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Now let's run this. Bang, doesn't that look pretty good? It's free. All the software is free, and you can do that. So now you have no excuse to not go out there and make a movie. Um, I, I better use that excuse too because that's kind of... That, that looks really good for being free. And I hope you agree too. So with some editing, this is what it looks like. And I hope you have a great day. Bye.